Hello and welcome to Song of the Prairie. This game is currently out in Steam Early Access and it is a 3D relaxing farm sim. And you can date people in the town, you can plant your crops, you can take care of animals and so on and so forth. So we're going to start a new game straight away and we're going to see how the game welcomes us to this wonderfully colorful world. And this video is kindly sponsored. Now, one thing you must know about this is that I am a huge fan of farming sims in general. I love these, I absolutely do. And what we are now experiencing is welcomed by a goddess. We are welcomed by the goddess and every single character, as far as I can tell so far, is fully voiced. So do bear that in mind. Anyway, as you can see here, as this is my territory, I won't allow you to bring any hassle here. So I'm willing to hide my identity. Basically, what you are is a human hero who has fallen and you're now being transported somewhere else. And so I'm going to say I'm willing to conceal my power. Your great power has brought you glory. Are you sure you will not use it anymore? Interesting. You have already been the most powerful person in the continent, but you now choose anonymity. What's here that makes you so persistent? Well, let's, uh, let's see. Let's see exactly what's going on with that. A life for me or a true friend? I'm going to say a life for me. I am surprised a human hero would desire a peaceful life like this. The world would be shocked if they found out. All right, you passed. I will allow you to hide your past and become a member of this land. It's about time. I ought to go back to sleep now. However, we'll meet again when the time comes. And so here we have arrived on the character creation screen. And as you can see, we have Wallace here who's talking to us. Congratulations, your resume shows that you have met the requirements of our town. After we verify your information, you can become the new owner of a farm. And so as you can see here, you have the ability to choose between... Uh, I'm not sure if you can actually play as this one. I don't think you can actually play as this one just yet. As you can see, there is a bit of a lock icon right there, so you can choose between these others. And this basically provides you with some basic setup. So, in other words, this particular character has a uh, initial fishing proficiency in, uh, uh, well, it, well, with D, and actually provides additional experience from fishing, and then the other one has planting experience. And you can obviously change these up however you so desire. I'm going to play with the fishing guy, so hopefully, maybe I'll be okay at fishing. Usually in farming sims I'm not very good at fishing so just bear that in mind anyway you can then customize your character however you so desire I'm gonna probably go for I've probably this hairstyle I guess and wait a minute I want to actually change the hair color let's uh, let's go for oh this looks cool I like the highlights actually I like the, the fact that we can have some highlights right there and otherwise you can choose your face shape as you see here and you can also decide on your jaw and your eyes and look at this you can even change your pupils if you so desire you can go for a cat's eyes if you like and for me personally i'm thinking i'm thinking probably something like this seems pretty cool and we're gonna go for a slightly slightly uh slightly smaller eyes right here there we go something like that and we're gonna change the eye color there we go and then we can also change our lipstick color if we so desire and change our a mouth size and so on and so forth then obviously you have the skin tone here which is going to make very pale why not and then you can obviously choose your eyebrows height eyebrow color you've got your nose i'm going to leave everything else the way it is and we can also choose other things like some decorations on ourselves. i'm actually just going to go for a little a little beauty spot right here i think that seems pretty cool and then we'll go on to the next one all right so we're going to call ourselves reform because that's me uh -huh, yeah and uh we're oh, well i'm just going to choose something random right here Let's go for summer six. There we go. I'm going to assume that it's going to go all the way through the year and they're going to celebrate our birthday whenever that may be. I don't know when we're actually starting. I gotta say, I look a little bit weird. Yes, I think my uh, my vividly green eyes make me look a little bit strange with my uh, wonderful highlights here, but <laughs> you know what? Um, I'm all for it. I like it. I like looking a little bit unique in these kinds of games. All right, so congratulations for becoming the new owner of the farm. In order to welcome you, the mayor has been waiting for you on the farm. Do you see the bus stop ahead? That is for the convenient public transportation of our town, Piggy Express. All town residents can use it for free. Without further ado, let's Let's ride it to the farm now and this is where we actually get to move around so you can actually see exactly where we're going obviously Wallace is not too pleased with me wandering off as you can see 
right there and she teleports me right back which is absolutely fine because we're just going to go here and then select this this is our nice little fast travel system here and you can see the town and the various icons and various landmarks that you're going to be able to explore later on when you have full freedom and you can then decide on where you want to go because at the moment obviously we're doing the tutorial they're kind of showing us around giving us a nice little tour and as you can see we've got these massive pigs that are well of course used for the expressway and she says this is your farm what do you think isn't it good although it looks a bit deserted now i believe that as long as you take good care of it it will soon be restored to life the mayor should be taking care of the wheat by the gate of the farm hut let's go find him all right, I'm sure he's going to be a completely wacky personality. Ah, yes, look at him. <laughs> he is snoozing. He is snoozing on the job. And uh, to be fair, I do not begrudge him. I'm sure being a mayor is a rather difficult vocation, would you not say? Potentially. Well, anyway, uh, I can't believe he fell asleep again. He clearly said that he wanted to make a good impression on the newcomer. Reform, please forgive him. For the sake of the farm, the mayor hasn't had a good night's sleep for a long time, so let's be a bit more understanding. Well, yes, exactly. That's why I was saying. Thank you. You're such a sensible person. I think the mayor will wake up on his own in a while. And there he is. Oh, God, Wallace, who did you bring? Why didn't you wake me up? Well, Mayor, this is our new farmer, Reform. He is a gentle and considerate person, and he is the one who told me not to disturb you. Am I right? Uh, yes, kind of. Anyway, this is still too rude for a newcomer. Hello, young person. I'm Hart, the mayor here. The young people in town like to call me Uncle Hart. If you don't mind, you can too. And there we go. We've actually increased our friend points with him, as you can see on the right side of the screen there. We're also going to be able to increase our friend points with a variety of different NPCs, dependent on how we respond to certain situations. Anyway, as a newcomer, you must have many questions. I wonder if you are interested in listening to me give a brief introduction to the town. Sure, why not? I knew it. No one can, can, can resist the curiosity about a small town. The legend of the goddess circulating here once attracted many people. That was a long time ago, Wallace. Now the most important thing in our town is the peaceful and plentiful rural life. But for today's young people, this may be unappealing. Mayor, what are you saying in front of our newcomer? There is no place more charming than this land. I, th I believe reform will fall in love with it right away. You're still the same. When you hear the bad words about the town, you're full of fighting spirit. <laughs> this is also your strength. Reform, Wallace has high hopes for you. Mayor, don't stick to these unimportant things. Don't you see that our reform is a little tired? Could it be that you got lost again and took our newcomer to run a big circle around, around the town? That was a year ago. No, I, I don't get lost. We weren't just touring. Don't be shy. A few cute little imperfections only make you even more charming. Well, by the way, the cottage in the back is your new home. We've cleaned it up for you. There it is, look at that. Look at how nice and sparkly that is. When you have time, you can slowly arrange it to your liking. I am happy to visit as your guest at that time. Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> once I, Only once I have spruced it up, of course. Young person, this may be your first time living on a farm, but don't worry. Life is all about starting from scratch and having fun growing up. Seeing you is like seeing my younger self. It reminds me of the lost youth. I've also worked on a farm and even won first place in the town's best plow pose contest. Just like this. <laughs> okay, okay, that's a... Oh, wait a minute, what happened? Did he, did he just lose his hat, but he also lost something else as far as I'm aware? Yes, apparently he has a wig, and indeed it is attached to his hat. That's very amusing. The wind is a bit noisy today. My head also wants to breathe some fresh air. <laughs> Wallace, it's almost time. I have to go back to the guild to deal with the rest of the work. As for our newcomer, I'll leave it to you to teach him how to work on the farm. And let me tell you, working on the farm, from what I've experienced so far, is very satisfying indeed and that's obviously one of the main things you're going to be doing so of course if you have your main gameplay thing your main mechanic being satisfying i think that's 
absolutely invaluable. I think that's one of the things that I love the most. Okay, so as you can see, you can, uh, you know, aim at the... Uh, <laughs> aim at the ground and you could do all, all kinds of wonderful stuff to to plant things and I'm actually going to be um, I'm going to be interested to see see how we do this so I'm actually just going to go through the tutorial with you just so you can see exactly how it works and then when you pick up the game you can literally just jump straight on in and you'll know exactly what's going on and for me personally the growing of the crops the planting of the seeds is the most fun because while you may think, oh yes, I've played many farming sims in my time, you know, you may think that. Well, that's the thing. With this, you go into the center and you can spruce or throw the seeds in every single one of these little squares at the same time. So you don't actually have to go into all of them uh, individually. Obviously, if you're hoeing the land, then of course you're going to have to do that yourself. As you can see right here, I'm going to have to go into each and every one, which is absolutely fine. I don't have a problem with that, but... Yeah, it's an extremely charming aesthetic as well. Super, super fun to see all of this happen. And we can now use items, as you can see right here too. Obviously, we have items down in our quick bar down there. And we can hold our seeds. So this is what I was talking about. So as you can see, if I move around here... Oh, no, I, no, no, no. I want to continue learning. Thank you. I was actually just wanting to demonstrate the, the square that we have going on here. So yeah, as you can see, if I want to sow the seeds, boom, look at that. They're done. Look at how nice and satisfying that is. I really like that. Anyway, we can now switch to the kettle and uh, we can do a little bit of watering there as well. And that's going to be easy enough, isn't it? There we go. She's uh, she's showing us. And and look at, see, that's, that's exactly what I'm talking about. So incredibly charming how all of the plants start to come up immediately. And let me tell you, every single step of the way, and this is like, um, obviously if you if you played other farming sims, you'll know, there are gonna be various stages of vegetation, and it's the same thing with this. And every single stage has a different visual look, which I gotta say, very much looking forward to seeing what these grow into. I believe this is, aren't these radishes? I think these are radishes or something like that, but yeah. Anyway, as you can see, we have the kettle here and we are gonna be able to water all of our plants and we've completed the task, of course. Wonderful. You are more talented than I thought. Maybe you will become a planting expert in the future. Don't forget to water these radishes every day so you can harvest them in a few days. All right, yeah, I won't forget. Hopefully, maybe, maybe I will, maybe I won't. Anyway. See the box at the door. At 5 o'clock every afternoon, someone will come to collect the goods. You just put the things you need to sell into the box and you can get paid the next day. Yes, we're, we're quite familiar with that kind of thing, aren't we? All right, so yeah, we just make money doing that and you can put the crops in the shipping bin. And these are the mayor's gifts for you. I hope you can take good care of your farm in the future. And he's given us 500 gold coins by the looks of things. And we can also open up our memo, which will give us an idea as to what we need to do. So for example, if we open up this and we can go and take a look at the memo, you can see here that our main story we have available. We also have an extended story and we also have contracts that we can complete. So for example, let's say that we want to get happiness points or friend points with road then we can hopefully, I'm not sure whether we're going to be able to do this, but hopefully we will be able to, and we'll be able to um, potentially give Rode some fresh white radishes. But obviously the first main story points right here are to make 50 shipments and harvest 30 units of crops. So of course we will try to do that. These are all simple tasks. I believe you will complete them in no time. By the entrance of the town, there is a store called Don't Want to Open General Store. You can buy seeds of all seasons there. Laurie, the owner of the general store, has been curious about you. Why don't you go and say hello? I can show you the way. Sure, why not? You're welcome. Everyone in this town is like my family, and now you're one of them. Helping each other is how the family should be. All right, so she is now going to lead us there, I assume. And wait a minute, what is this? Can I kick? Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. So if I press this, I can actually check the location. So you can see here, uh, where, uh, general store, there she is. Oh, no, wait, that's that's the mayor. Okay, so if I look up the location of the NPC, so you can see here, that there's a lot of different, wow, there's a lot of different NPCs, that's for sure. There's the doctor. Uh, there's the mayor, as you can see. 
and oh, Buddy's favorite food is also a thing. Yeah, but we probably need to go to the um, to the other thing, don't we? Right? The, uh, the grocery store. Yeah, so I'm going to make my way over to the grocery store. Ah, who have we found along the way here? We seem to have found a woman who is cutting down a tree. Let's see. We've now entered a cutscene. Well, I don't even know who this is. Oh, it's Abby. Okay. You are... Oh, hold on. Don't tell me yet. Let me figure it out. This Aryan flowy hairstyle, these intelligent and determined eyes, plus the wheat shards on your feet. I got it. You must be the illegitimate son of the mayor, and you've been separated for many years, right? You've been a drifter with no one to depend on for years. After all the hardships, you've finally found that irresponsible father of yours. Mmm, um, 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 not quite. <laughs> not quite. What? I'm right. You must feel embarrassed for being called out, right? Oh, no. My deduction failed. When will I ever reach the level of my idol? Let me think again. According to my investigation, the only people who have recently grown wheat on the farm are Uncle Hart and... Could it be that you are the newcomer on the farm? Well, sorry. I forgot about you. My name is Abby, and I'm the town's woodcutter. However, I have another identity, and that is detective. Although I am still lacking in my deductive skill, one day I will become a super well-known detective. I think what you lack is probably more... <laughs> Okay, our character's got a sharp tongue by the looks of things. Huh? What else do I lack? I see. I also lack an assistant. Every detective must have an assistant around him or her. Great timing. I will have you be my assistant then. Dear assistant, now I want to deduct again. Let me guess. No, I mean, I want to do another deduction. What is the thing you want to do most right now? Hmm, I got it. It's logging, right? How on, how on earth did you deduct this? I'm going to say yes. Mm-hmm. Let me teach you how to log then. I'm not strong enough as a detective, but when it comes to logging, I'm a master. Since you're empty-handed, I'll give you my spare axe for now. All right, so we actually gained a simple axe just, just from speaking to her, so that's really nice. However, a friendly suggestion, if you want to become a master woodcutter, you should go to the blacksmith shop to forge an axe that is more suitable for you. Yeah, that is exactly what I will do. All right, fantastic. When you're close to a tree, press that and use an axe to cut the wood. Different levels of tree require different levels of axes and corresponding skill levels. Okay, that's really interesting, actually. So we're going to... Oh, no, I'm watering the tree. That is not what I wanted to do. All right, let me just access my inventory, uh, if I can actually do that. Here we go. Okay, so simple axe. Boom. There we go. Got the simple axe, and now we can actually chop this down. Ooh, there's actual visuals. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. That's cool. Look at that. Boom. Timber. We should we should do timber, right? But Pitbull's nowhere to be found, so I'm not sure. Anyway, we will hopefully be... I don't really want to kick this stuff. If I kick it, it's, not, it's probably not going to work out too well. Uh, now, I actually wonder, can I sell the wood in my box? That's the question. Can I can I sell the wood in the shipping bin? There's a huge amount of wood over here, though. Look at this. You can actually sprint in the game as well, by the way. Okay, yeah, look at this. We can literally pick up all this stuff. So if we don't actually want to do any uh, lumbering ourselves or any logging ourselves, then we don't actually need to do that. But that's really, really cool. And we also have the ability to maybe pick up some crystals here as well. There we go. Can I... There we go. What, what, what is this? What is this? Oh, no, we have to kick that. Yeah, that's not really going to work out too well. What is this, though? Sacrifice? Okay, wait a minute. Yeah, uh, we're going to have something that needs to happen here. And who is this? I have no idea who this is, but we're going to get a nice cutscene, a nice little conversation with them, and hopefully they'll be able to give me a new tool. Hello. Uh, do you mind uh, not hitting me with that? <laughs> that would be funny, wouldn't it? All right. Are you here for that, too? Do I have to spell it out? You also heard the woodcutter's rumor and came to blackmail me, didn't you? As soon as people got close to me, they would encounter misfortune. Some of them got knocked out by falling ore pieces. Some of them fell into random holes in the ground. I've seen a lot of people like you coming here to extort money from me in the name of medical expenses. I thought this was a place free from worldly strife, so I decided to spend the rest of my life here. Now I find that there are still too many opportunistic people here. Well, that's not, that's not me, sir. <laughs> uh, all right, well, uh, now what? 
I told you so much out of kindness, but don't think you can get close to me now. I'm going to introduce myself. Hello, I'm the newcomer at the farm, and, uh, oh, so it's you. I judged too fast. I apologize. My name is Croc. I am a miner in town. The mayor mentioned you to me. He told me to give you this hammer. You can use it to mine. Oh, yes. So we've got a simple hammer now. You can also go... <laughs> I'm not sure if I really want to go to the death mine, all things considered, but I'm sure it's a friendly enough place. I'm sure it's just a name, isn't it? Yes, this is my job and I won't refuse. Mm -hmm. Yes, I will go to the death mine and meet my demise <laughs> sooner rather than later, potentially. Anyway, when approaching the ore, press this to do this. And yeah, we're absolutely fine with that. Okay, so obviously you can just select that like so. And here's the ore. And we can literally just bonk it, bonk it, bonk it. How many times do I have to bonk it, actually? I'm actually not entirely sure. Oh, well, there we go. It was actually working. And then we can pick up all of it. Yes, absolutely wonderful. And I think what I'm actually going to do is I might just run back to my box because I uh, I might not be back in time to put things in here. So let's actually just see how much is this going to be? Five gold, five gold. So hardwood and copper ore are relatively good to do. So if I actually just transfer one of one of these really is it even worth it actually for me to do that probably not because i actually have 3500 gold already as it is and these resources could be very useful for us so anyway we're just going to make our way over here but this is what I, this is exactly what i'm talking about look at how many look at this there are so many npcs that you're going to encounter along the way and all of them can be spoken to you can uh, earn friendship points with them i i'm going to assume that you can actually do all kinds of activities with them as well. Anyway, please don't stop. What? Are you serious? Can you can you give me a fi I will never stop fishing until I beat that Linda. Okay, wait a minute. Can I can I actually fish myself? I don't have a fishing rod. You're not Ah, oh, no. Okay, so apparently this person does not want to give me a fishing rod. Ooh. Animals in the wild and at home can be touched. After touching, the small animal will follow you until you touch the next small animal or the next day arrives. Okay. So in other words, we can pet it. Yes, pet the bird. A goo goo bird has now just gained friend points with me and I can even pick it up. Yes, you can press this key to pick up the animal. When the corresponding animal enclosure in the farm has enough space, you can carry the animal into it and press that to let it stay in the enclosure. That is, oh yeah, that is very, very cool. Okay. Oh, there is a bird. Did it run away from the aviary? I'm not entirely sure, Wallace, but um, yeah, it's whatever the case. There's a, a bunch of, I don't even know what, being planted in the ground there. Otherwise, let's make our way on. We do need to go and speak to Laurie. I'm getting completely sidetracked here. I would have liked to have done some fishing. I wanted to do some fishing, but unfortunately that person doesn't want to speak to us just yet. Doesn't want to give us the... Uh, the wonderful little uh, fishing rod that we would otherwise have needed. And uh, otherwise, the general store is right here. And there she is. The sun is warm. I really want to go back to take a nap. By the way, I heard that a new person came to the farm today. Wallace must be busy teaching him. Oh dear. Yeah, that, that's me, actually. Hello. Who are you? And what are you doing there, standing there silently? Um, <laughs> self-introduction. Oh, so you're a new brother from the farm. My name is Laurie. I'm the boss of this don't-want-to-open general store. In the future, your farm can't live without me. Let's get along well. So, do you believe in telepathy? In fact, just now, I was wondering who you are. Unexpectedly, you appeared. Is it because you heard my voice? I'm, I'm kidding. By the way, I also prefer prepared a gift for you. Okay, what are you going to give me? This comfortable chair was made by Pauline from the Creation Workshop. It is the same as mine. If you are tired while working on the farm, just sit in a chair and recover. With this wrench, you can fold up the chair. Okay, so we've got a remodeling hammer as well, so we can actually change around things in our homestead. So that's going to be very useful. Take my gift and you will be my brother. I actually have something to trouble you. Did you see the broken station at the gate of the town? Since it broke down, people have to walk to the farm. Brother Poa said that it needs a lot of wood and stone to repair it. It's too troublesome for me. Can you help me repair it? 
When the station is repaired, it will be more convenient for Brother Reform to come to me later. In other words, that's me. Yes, indeed. All right, so we've now received a new quest, and that allows us to repair this station. All small items such as wells can be purchased from Pauline, the creation workshop, and then we can just press the corresponding key, and then we can place it down. You can, as far as I'm aware, you can place down items pretty much anywhere you want. So that's really very useful. And when there are obstacles on the ground, do not put down small items. Yes, I will try my very best. All right, so yeah, now we are, uh, now we're done with, with speaking to her, I suppose. Actually, one thing I wanna see, is there another thing that I can do here? Where's my, where's my journal? There's my journal, okay, here we go. Okay, so what do we need to do? So obviously we need to do this, which is to, uh, that's gonna give me 2000 gold coins as well. That's gonna be really, really useful for us. And otherwise we just need to make 50 shipments and harvest 30 units of crops. So I would like to purchase some things from Lori. So let's go to the grocery store and let's actually purchase some stuff. So white radish seeds, we need these for one of our quests. So let's purchase 20 of these, right? So how many should I get? So let's get 20. We can actually type that in right there. So let's get 20 of those. Boom, there we go, very nice and easy. And we can also get a bunch of onions and a variety of other things. Not sure if these are gonna be that good. Wheat is good apparently. Spinach, what's the best to sell though? That's the point. I'm kind of wanting the best to sell. So I guess I'm just gonna buy a bunch of these as well. Let's buy 20 of these, it's gonna be a thousand. Not sure if I'm spending way too much here, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with what we've got going on. And we've also got the, oh, there's the death mine. Okay, don't get so close to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you, I'm sure you really don't want me to. Okay, so what is in here? I have no idea, but. Maybe we need to speak to her about that. Or, well, speak to him, shall we say, croc. Yeah, I keep getting mixed up. Okay, well, whatever the case, let me make my way back to my farm and I'll hopefully be able to plant some of these seeds. Ah, seems like I've come across another NPC. Who is this? Oh, it's Amanda, let us greet. Let us greet Amanda and see what, uh, see what she has to say. Maybe she's uh, talking about this house, yes. I have tried all kinds of methods, and it seems that this house is really impossible to repair. I feel sorry for this house, which was one of the most classy houses in the town. There's a suspicious man on the farm. Really? I'm not a suspicious person. I'm a person who does good deeds everywhere by helping people fix their houses. People call me Amanda, the fixer-upper. Whenever I see a house that is broken down, I go fix it up. And after it is fixed up, I let people, mainly the poor, live there for free. Unfortunately, this house is so damaged that it can't be fixed up. It's a pity that it has to be demolished, instead of being used to house more people. I guess you are a new resident of the small house over there. Just a reminder, your house can be upgraded. Ooh, okay, I'm, I'm excited about that. I, I want to see what we can do to upgrade it, actually. I wonder whether we can expand its size. That's going to be fun. If you hand in the materials needed by the sign, someone will help you upgrade your house. The structure of your house is very solid, so you can upgrade it with ease. Okay, since this house can't be fixed up, I shall leave and look for the next house to work on. Bye. Well, wh what about if I help you? I'm, I'm gonna, yes, yes, indeed. Okay, wait a minute. Is there actually a side quest in regards to this? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, wait a minute. This is, this is something that I could do. I need to go to, uh, to Poa here and actually speak to them. Okay, yeah, we can also do this at Pauline. Uh, okay, so we can actually mark the... Oh, wait, no, we can't mark these tasks, unfortunately. Okay, well, that's absolutely fine. At least we know now that we've completed those two tasks. So I need to go there in due time. How to use the repair function? Well, yeah, we can in interact with this to repair it. Okay, so wait a minute. If I do that... A sleepy pig enclosure. Oh, that's easy enough, isn't it? Look at that. You only need 45 of each material, and we've already gotten a significant amount, but how do I repair this? Can I actually repair this? I think it would be very cool if we could do that. I'm sure Amanda's going to be very, very pleased for, you know, for us to, to do that potentially, but I guess we'll see what happens. Anyway, there is a little bit here, so we should probably take a look at this. Upgrade the building. Okay, so we need blue wood copper ore and a huge amount of lumber and all that other stuff and what does it actually do it gives us a cooking station and more indoor space yeah that's going to be really useful for us okay and we also have oh we also we have oh look at this i didn't even realize but we apparently already have 
a Goo Goo Bird enclosure. So me picking up that bird beforehand was absolutely fine. Okay, yeah. All types of animal enclosures can be built by the architect. When there are animals in your animal enclosures, you can press this to interact with them, manage them, and so on and so forth. Okay, that's good to know. Anyway, let me go over here. Is there something that I can do to... Ah, I can, I can harvest this wheat. Aha! Okay, that's nice. Okay, so I'm going to harvest all of this, and then we're going to be planting some additional seeds. Because, of course, why would we not, right? Because we need to get the white radishes planted... And then we can hopefully give those to the person that needs them. So let's just do that. Where, where are the white radishes? This stuff? Yeah, yeah. Is this it? I think so, right? Uh, I could be wrong about that now, but I'm going to do it nevertheless. There we go. Plants have been planted in the ground. And now I should get out my watering can. Here we go. Okay, perfect. Did I actually... No, I didn't do that wrong, right? I didn't do that wrong, I don't think. Okay, well, plant, my plant proficiency level has increased, and my, also, my stamina has also increased. That's very nice to see. So hopefully we're going to get a little bit better at things as time goes on. And if I get the hoe out, does that mean I can actually increase? Aha! It does. So I can actually increase the size of my farming plots as well. That's very cool. Okay, yeah, I would love to be able to do that. If you take a look at the store page, by the way, link in the description, you're going to be able to see screenshots of that. And it is absolutely amazing how massive some of these farm plots can actually be. So very much looking forward to getting those of my very own. That's going to be so, so fun. Anyway, I think that's probably going to be it for this episode. If you would like to take a look at Song of the Prairie, as I say, there is a link in the description. Highly recommended 3D relaxing farming sim. And I really cannot wait to start exploring more of the town. Just look at how massive this actually is. It is incredible. So much stuff to do. I, I really want to... Look, look, there's even a lake, House of the Mermaid. There's even a forest over there, a hot spring. Look at that. The, the map is massive. It actually feels really large. Anyway, as I say, I thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.